the year is 2020. A channel has emerged that only covers content for Rome 1 and Medieval 2 Total War. Games that are 15 and 13 years old respectively. That channel has hit 10,000 subscribers <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for being a part of this channel. This video is not going to be me telling you my life story or the Q&A. Get me to a million if you want to see that. This video is a story about my experience with Total War and Total War only. It all began when my uncle bought me a game. Just a random game. Something that he picked up off the shelf probably hid under his coat and then brought it back to me. Medieval 2 Total War. Kingdoms. Kingdoms. He bought the expansion and of course it required the base game for it to work. Despite this though, I still spent many hours on it, trying to install, trying to find loopholes to get on, just staring at the box art, many hours. I was about 8 to 10 years old and only had 2 or 3 strategy games, of which I had already hundreds of hours into. I wanted something fresh. I gave up and gradually forgot about Talk to War, until I was on holiday in Bridlington, a beach on the east coast of Britain. I was told I could pick out one game for my PC. I walked over to the strategy section, and there, my eyes saw and focused on Rome Total War and its expansions, all in a nice line. I stared at each one, looking at the box art, rating which one I wanted, and eventually, I picked up Rome Total War Alexander. Rome Total War Alexander, another expansion. It was only once I got home and tried it that I read the small print on the box where it said it requires the base game. I was furious. One year later, it was my birthday or something and so I asked for Rome Talk to War and Barbarian Invasion as well just to make sure. It arrived, I shoved the disc in, still annoyed at the company. It installed, I played and then peace. After playing the first two or three turns of the tutorial, I said, there and then, this is the best game ever. And still, to this day, I think I stand by that point. The only game that could possibly top it for me would be EU4. For my first campaign, I played as the Julii. However, I remember giving up eventually because my empire was full of plague and I was heavily in debt. I have no idea what I did wrong, but somehow I messed it up somewhere. However, it was the battles that brought me back. I beat the AI on easy difficulty, outnumbered by about 10 troops. I thought I was a military genius. By the way, fun fact, for the first 8 years of playing Rome Taught to War, I only like, seriously played the Roman factions. All the others I tried, but found them boring for the first couple of turns. It was only once I started doing YouTube that I thought I had best try out some of the other factions, and I am grateful I did. Some of them are actually very interesting. Each end turn would take about 5 minutes on my PC, but it was worth it. I was actually getting close to my GCSEs at that point, and I remember playing Realm Talk to War, and then, during the end turn, I would spend about 5 minutes revising, then back to the game, then back to end turn revision. Back and forth for hours. Eventually I tried Barbarian Invasion and Alexander, but I always went back to Rome. First game of Alexander Talk to War, I put Alexander on a ship, but did not onboard him. Thunderstorm hit, killed Alexander, end of game. Overall though, I think a lot of my love for Rome Talk to War came from the years that I had to actually wait to experience what it was about. We did not have internet. No one at school had heard of it, I had no idea what it was going to be like 
which only made me want to try it even more. Someone we knew was getting rid of his old games. In the bundle was Medieval 2 Thought to War. What a great coincidence. But this... This one was rough. Lowest graphic settings and the game constantly still stuttered. End turns were about 10 minutes, which was far too much for my patience. I hated Medieval 2 Thought to War. But still, I eventually tried Kingdoms and that was a mistake. There was only enough room on my PC to install two of the Kingdoms campaigns. I picked Crusades and British Campaign. The installation began and it took 8 hours for it to install and when it finally did, the game would not even load. That's how bad my PC was. Odd to think, this time next week I will be using my new Core i9. <laughs> how far I've come. Eventually I did get my own gaming laptop. Uh, for me it was a gaming laptop, but really it could only just handle Medieval 2 on normal settings. And I did begin to enjoy it eventually. A few years later I got Napoleon Total to War, tried to install it, but it failed. It needed this thing called Steam. My historian mind of course jumped to it needing a Steam powered computer. I was young and stupid, don't bully me in the comments. <laughs> I knew nothing of technology at the time. Gradually, I found out what Steam was, but my family could not afford internet, so I had to wait quite a bit. The internet came, I loaded up Napoleon Talk to War, 5 FPS max. My laptop could not handle it. Another year or so of waiting, eventually I asked my mum for a £200 laptop. Uh, it was a stretch, but we got it. Reason being, I began seeing adverts for Rome 2 Talk to War and wanted to get it. I got the laptop, however, thankfully, held off from Rome 2, as it was uh, far too expensive at the time. But at least Napoleon worked, and so did Shogun 2 and Attila when I got them. Although a lot of people would disagree with me here, Napoleon and Attila are some of my favourite Talk to War games in the series. Rome 2 had been out for some time, I was aware of the bugs so never really bought it, it went on sale, I asked around if the bugs had been fixed, most said yes so I gave it a go. Loaded it up, played as Rome on hard difficulty, completely slaughtered my way through Carthage. The game was super easy, no challenge, I ought to resolved almost everything because I knew I could. Then, the first time I came up against a challenging battle and was about to win, the AI bugged. It was stuck in the corner on a boat, I had no ships to counter it. They could not embark on land because all the land spots were filled by other ships. In the end, after experiencing my first moment of enjoyment with the game, I had to leave the battle and give the AI a free win. I went to go refund. Steam policy is though that you can only refund if you have less than 2 hours in the game. I had 3 hours. Turns out it would have been 2 hours if only the stupid battle had worked. I was super annoyed. £10 I was never going to get back again. And for me, at that time, that £10 was near enough everything I had. And that is kind of where this story ends. After that I began doing YouTube, watching YouTube, going to university, which gave me more than I had ever experienced before. There was no more being in the unknown, as I had the internet that I needed. No more not being able to afford the next title, as student funding came through and I lived cheaply so I always had a lot of money on the side. I guess the only story left to tell was me hating on Warhammer a bit because it took the fantasy side, but after seeing others play it, I actually kind of liked the look of it and plan on giving it a go sometime soon. And that's the hidden lesson of this video. Me wanting to try a different game, even if I have to buy all the expansions first. Me only playing Roman factions, but regretting it years later. Avoiding Rome 2 talks war. 
me deciding if I should be a Total War YouTuber or not. Hating on Warhammer only to turn out, I really want to give it a go now. Give it a go. Try something else. Don't get stuck in one game. Not only will you eventually get bored, but you will also risk getting arrogant and begin to hate everything else except that one game to justify your own actions to stay with it. It was rough for me to actually get out of that and accept my, neg my negative opinion about the new titles was slightly biased. Although I still hate Rome 2 Total War, at least I tried it, and I am able to accept now that others do like that game, it does have quite a big fan base. And no, do not worry, Rome Total War is not going anywhere from this channel. There still will be Rome Total War and Medieval 2 Total War videos and streams on a very regular basis. I am not doing a full Legend of Total War here, and probably never will. But other stuff needs to come in, to keep it fresh, and to prevent myself from getting back into that new titles are bad phase. There's going to be some Warhammer 2, Attila, and more. Are you going to see less Rome Total War content? No, because daily streams are coming, the amount of hours more content that is about to arrive is going to make it so that, if you are only here for Rome Total War, you will be seeing more Rome Total War on this channel than ever before. But there's also a bit other stuff there as well, like around, which I advise maybe you check out. I've been Melcho, thank you for 10,000 subscribers, I do really appreciate every one of you. Maybe at other milestones I will do a draw my life or something, but for now, this is only the beginning. And when I do one of those, I want it to have a, a fuller experience. When I do a draw my life or something like that, I want to actually be able to close the story off. Have an actual sort of an end, but not like a full end, but some form of an end. A satisfying end. If you know anyone who would be interested in my content, please do share my videos, it's only because of people who do share, and of course uh, past Patreons when I add that up, and supportive comments and you know, everything does help, but the reason I've actually made it to 10,000 subscribers, most of it's down to just simple people sharing my videos in places. And thank you for that. Until the next one, goodbye.